Hi YouTube, we're here with the uh, timber, not the tundra, <laughs> 1.5 meter. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do this real quick. 2200 3S, 60C Turnigy heavy duty, XT60 connectors. We got one of their little voltage alarms on here, just because it's a new plane. We have it set to 7 minutes as per the instruction manual, but we're going to see how far it goes before it starts beeping, provided it's quiet enough to be heard. So, one thing I'm learning about this plane I don't like is the battery container, the battery... The place where you put the batteries is ridiculous. It makes it really hard to plug everything in, in my opinion. So you gotta lay it down quick, let it initiate. You got the lid thing. My radio's on, so that's on. Just went through the startup procedure. You hear that noise? <laughs> that sounds like kind of crappy. I wanna look crunchy. at that real quick. Let's check it out. Throttle cut is on and tested, timer cleared. By the way, this thing, the leading edge slats are ridiculous. They make it hard to pick this thing up from any angle. Oh, you know what that was, guys? That was this tape. Oh, okay. oh. I put on some tape, the decorative uh, black markings to help for orientation, also known as orientation stripes. Which is not included in the instruction manual. Which is not included in the instructions, but if you look at the videos, you'll see it. Yeah. Okay, so guys, normally I'd be like, blah, blah, blah for 20 minutes, you all know. <laughs> but not today because we don't have time for that. Flaps, take off, landing, elevator up, down, left, right, aileron, aileron, and no noise this time. So here we go, take off flaps are deployed. I did not push it, guys. And let's walk up here on the hill, huh? Okay. Okay. I'm noticing I need a lot of trimming. I don't like when I need an up trim. That's kind of not cool in my book. It's powerful. You need a lot of up trim. Okay, there's there's my up trim, guys. I got a little aileron roll going. There's my aileron roll. Boy, that thing is rock solid. No safe on yet, but I'll show you what safe looks like. Real slow here. That's about 25% throttle. Full throttle. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Stall turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Got a noisy prop. That's weird. You hear it as it changes speed? You can totally hear it. Okay, I kicked on the landing and the takeoff flaps there. Jeez, that thing slows down my stuff. I need a lot more down elevator trim. It balloons like a banshee. Guys, look how slow it's going. I could like run up to it and catch it. Gotta stay on the power there too. Jeez. Okay, let's do some rolls. Jeez, that rolls slow. Not a big fan of that. Now that the trims are adjusted, I'll show you how to do a mechanical adjustment at home. Okay, there's my takeoff. There's my landing. I gotta be into the power about 50% just to keep it from stalling the wing. Okay, into the takeoff flaps, back into the regular. Let's just do a little hammerhead action there. Boy, those leading edge slats just produce a ton of lift, I think, at low speed. I'm loving the lights. The lights look nice. You can really tell when it's pointed at you, even with the sun as a backdrop. It's really not that loud. I don't know why I'm thinking it's loud. It doesn't seem loud to me. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's throw a safe on here. Safe is on. Woo! Woo! That's what safe does, guys. So, limited bank angle with throttle. It's level. Without throttle, it's a little bit nose down attitude. Dude, this would be a sweet trainer. Because look how easy it is. I'm like not even hardly thinking. Okay, safe is off. And here we go. Into full landing flaps. Out of the flaps. Oh man. Did you miss it? Sorry, that was kind of a mean order. <laughs> Let's walk over here to the, away from the car so we can land this thing. Take off flaps. You guys all to my left. 
we're behind you. Okay. You know what's kind of weird is it feels like I got a little bit of a yaw issue going on in terms of, uh, maybe that's what I needed to trim. That's with rudder, just so you can see the difference in roll rate. I did not set up any mix. Upside down flight performance is kind of weird with uh, leading edge slacks. Takeoff flaps. Guys, I love it with the takeoff flaps. Just got to get my elevator figured out. I set it up per the instruction manual and it just didn't... Oh, that's really wanting to turn on me. Very weird. Really wanting to turn to the left. I'm going to give it some right trim adjustment. Come out of the flap. There is a little bit of hesitation from the wind, possibly. Full landing flaps. Let's see how it slows down. Man, those flaps are humongous. Let's walk up here. Let's try to get some pulse passes here, hon, because the sun's up here. Not going to need the expo on this thing, that's for sure. At least not yet. Try to do a little rudder expo. Where are you? Okay. Where are you going to land? I'm at two minutes and four seconds. I don't know, maybe I should land in the concrete? I'm not sure. I don't know. Full landing flaps. Let's just land it there. Looks good. Guys, this is not smooth. Hey, we're not done. I know. We're just landing quick. I want to make one adjustment to the elevator, hon. Okay. You need to pause. Just come over here and look at it. Oh, okay. Okay, so the elevator down trim is set to 9% um, for the takeoff flaps. I'm going to set it to about 15 and then I'm going to set the landing to 20. We'll see how that looks. Okay, everybody safe. Takeoff flaps are initiated. Full up elevator. Yeah, baby. That is not smooth there. Not it's, at all. And it's frozen, too. It's like we're on the tundra. Wait, timber. Timber. Oh, man. We're not on the timber. <laughs> okay, landing flaps. Look at that, guys. Way better. So 15 and 25 way 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 better rudder turn there let's throw it safe on it see what it does with flaps deployed dude safe with flaps is ridiculous i mean about you you have to land it's nuts because i'm at 30 percent throttle and look at this guys look how easy that thing is that's just nuts out of the flaps out of the safe get rid of that garbage It's not as ballsy as I might have thought it was going to be. Don't worry, I'm not crashing. I'll <laughs> warn you if it's going to come down and crash. Beautiful, though, guys. Full landing flaps. Look at that. Look at that, guys. You see how tight of a loop you can do? You start mixing in some flaps. Look at this. That's why you have a 47 gram connecting rod in between there seven minutes is up guys seven minutes is up here and gone i would land it like this but i want to bring it closer out of a loop guys out of a loop don't forget <laughs> oh yes love it okay guys look at this i'm tripping because there's got to be at least Three quarters of an inch difference between this grass and this spot. I've fallen on my, well, have I ever tripped here? I've tripped, I've not fallen, but <laughs> basically you can imagine what it'd be like if I did. This plane handled it like a champ. Except it's not a champ, it's, it's like a, a timber. timber. Yeah. <laughs> handled it like a timber. <laughs> Go get one today. It's on sale until the 6th at hobbyzone.com. There's no dash, Hobby Zone. It's a Minnesota based company, free shipping. 15% off. off. That's $37 you can put into your pocket and use it on something else. Like props want. and batteries. Maybe you can buy your wife something. Right. Apologize for buying another plane. Like props and batteries. <laughs> so, Esteban, if you're listening, <laughs> somewhere out there. <laughs> it's almost. Oh, and don't forget the awesome LEDs. But don't worry. Don't worry. There's no light on the back yet. There will be. There will be. <laughs> Thanks for watching.